Boys and girls, it's time to talk about guitar pickups. High gain, chuga chuga, heavy metal, bridge, humbuckers, to be a little more precise. So you are about to witness a little discussion about which one is the best humbucker for chuga chuga music, but that's not all. I also want to show you something magical. You remember, I've been to this infamous guitar YouTuber meeting at Henning Pauli's place called 42 Gear Street. And when I was there, I stumbled into a very, very interesting guitar company. They make guitars that let you swap the pickups in no time, faster than you can open a beer. Unless you're, unless you're German, of course. <laughs> <laughs> then the beer thing is faster. Anyway, very, very interesting guitars and great for comparing pickups in the studio. I want to show you these guitars and I want to talk pickups today. That's going to be fun. Let's go back to Henning Pauli's 42 Gear Street. Boom. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to 42 Gear Street number four. We are now at, what is this, Studio B? Yep. Studio B. And I'm here with my dear friend Mendel. Hello. Hello. And uh, in case you don't know, we know each other because he used to play in a band called Aborted. And we've done quite a few productions together. Yeah, three or something. Yeah. Right. Or two EPs and two albums or oh, yeah, something. Right. Yeah, right. Yep, yep. Right. And uh, he's, he's, he's a great guitar player. Way better than me, but it's my video, so I play guitar. Today we want to talk about guitar pickups because Mendel knows way more about guitar pickups than I do and he's going to tell me which ones I should buy, right? I think so, yeah. Right. But before we do that, I want to show you something else because you might have seen there's another person sitting here. And this guy is from Cream Tea Guitars and he's called Hosk. Yeah! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and Personally, I gotta say, this, what I'm about to show you, is for me like the most innovative thing I've seen here at, at this event. Yeah, I agree. Right? Yep. Because you're making guitars, they look great, they feel great, very light, play great, but look at this. Can you tell us what this is, what this means? Yeah, so it's, it's actually a system by Relish Guitars, but we've licensed it. So it's a quick, like, pickups changing. It's, with magnets, so there's no soldering or wiring needed. You just pull the pickup out, throw another pickup in that's been mounted on one of the back plates, and which is mind blowing, isn't it? No, I'm so impressed. Yeah. So, so what I can do is I just have to pull this, and here's the pickup. You know, that is so cool, especially in the studio. Yeah, you uh, know, especially in the studio. So, so I was I was always thinking, though, how should I do a like a pickup comparison video mm -hmm. with all the, all, the, all the soldering work and stuff and this this makes it so easy. Can I use any pickups or just Any humbucker size pickup. Okay, and which ones so, do I have here? So these are our pickups, they're called the Crossfire pickup. We've just released them and they're a media output um, vintage voice pickup. But we do have, yeah, we can mount any humbucker size pickup, both four conductor and single conductor. And this can they can just be quickly swapped out, so as you're saying for pickup comparisons, you could have four or five bridge pickups all mounted on from different brands, quickly throw them in, the guitar stays the same, strings stay the same, you're getting a more accurate version of the pickup. Clever. That is so cool. Yep. That is so cool. Yep. So so one thing I just wanted to show, like, what, which I really love because we were talking about before, the pickup height is just to screw, am I correct? Yeah. Right. You can just turn this. Yeah. And it changes the height of the pickup. That is Brilliant. another fantastic feature. Yes, yeah. instantly. Anything you want to say about this guitar? It looks beautiful, very lightweight. Yeah, so it's an Abici body, roasted maple neck, is available in both rosewood and roasted maple fingerboard. This is our SRT6 range, so it comes with the metallic finishes. We have um, this graphite metallic, inferno red and aero blue all available with and without racing stripe and with different pick guards, but we also have an our Crossfire standard range as well, which just comes with satin finishes, okay. non-metallic. And you can split. Yeah, so it's got a six, it's called a three-way switch. It's a six-way, and so at the bottom, it's all um, full humbucker, and then you flip it up and then it taps them. I've actually never seen something mm. like yeah, that. Me neither. Yeah, me it's, neither. A, it's a company called Freeway, and okay. we, we just found them and thought they were really cool and <laughs> wanted like, but that's what we do. We kind of find cool, innovative design and go, we could put that into a guitar and it'd be really practical. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Should we play something? And it sounds like this. We've got to talk about the rig. What am I playing? 
So this is the Steve Stevens signature Freeman amp. Uh, That's a new one. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know any specific details about it, but I've tried it a couple uh, times the past days, and it's my favorite amp so far. But you're a Friedman guy anyway, right? You're playing... Well, so the only thing I try were like Friedman plugins or amps and stuff uh -huh. like that. But now feeling it, it's like I fell in love with it. So... <laughs> Nice feel, very dynamic, yep. martial kind of... And I haven't tuned the guitar. But there's also pedal, what is this? Are we playing using the pedal right no, now? Yes, so this is like a Moxie from Wampler. Yeah. Like an, a cool overdrive pedal, let's try it. Basically a tube screen, right? Okay. I think people can't see it. Oh, oh, wow, look at this. There we go. Sweet little pedal, but cool design. Moxie. Yeah. Now that's their take on a mini Tube Screamer. It does with look like good, yeah. two different voicings and a fat switch or something. What a nice rig! <laughs> So let's let's swap a pick. Yeah. Right, so so this is let's go to the next. And go like just like whoop. that. There you go. Whoop, and it's this direction. And big difference. It's easy as that. Fantastic. That was five seconds? <laughs> five seconds. One question though, what about active pickups? So not at the moment we haven't gone into that because it involves more wiring changes than just... Of course. And they use different parts, different, and also the battery, so... But there might be something coming? Possibly in the future. We've not, it's not that would something. be a great idea, yeah. by the way. <laughs> we, 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 will, we will be looking at other pickups in the future, kind of probably more high gain stuff, but we'll move into passive and then possibly active in the future. <laughs> yeah, because this is just brilliant. Because I'm playing active pickups most of the time when I do my chuga chuga metal stuff. Chuga chuga. And what about you? I play... Because you've tried like a million different yeah, pickups, so, right? Yeah, so technically I use, well, in the core, the technology, they're active, like Fishman pickups. Yeah. But they feel like passive pickups. The Fluence. The Fluence pickups, yeah. Which one do you play? So I play a lot of them, but through my journey of like billions of years trying billions of pickups, I ended up on the Devon Townsend pickups. Ah. And I use them in the Telecaster mode. Okay. And that's for me perfect for the rhythm playing. Okay. Yeah. What did you use on the last aborted album? You remember? Because yeah, that sounded I great. I think that was the modern fluence or something, right? So, or not, not the Devon Townsend. So for, for album wise, it's I have the worst memory ever, but with pickups I always remember. So Terminator Redux, uh Seymour Duck and Blackouts. Um, Retrogore, Seymour Duncan Blackouts. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. And then on Terrorvision, I used on some songs the Fishman Classics, mm -hmm. which are like vintage Gibson path yeah, pickups uh, or something. Uh, uh. And then also, uh, no, actually, I think that's, yeah, no, that's the only one I used on the album. Okay. Yeah. Call me old school, but I, I'm still in love with MG81s. No, no. No? No, no. You're out. No, no I'm out. Wow. So, so my whole nice chuga chuga. No, nice. no, no. I, well, okay. So, so here's the thing. So my whole journey was basically, in short, I started with like a left-handed. I'm not started, but like my real good, good guitar was like a left-handed Les Paul. Still have it. Mm -hmm. And then with stock Gibson pickups. No, no, no. So, oh no, that was a Epiphone. Epiphone. Oh, the words are really cheap. Mm -hmm. Then upgraded to EMGs, and my whole world opened. It was like the quality. For a reason. For yes, a reason. Yes. So. But the only thing that I didn't like about EMGs, and it's like the typical thing people talk about in forums and stuff, is that they really compress. So when you yeah. do like chugga chugga chugga, I call it, you can see on the waveform, the peaks are chopped. 
Now, that could be like really cool because some of the Metallica albums are my favorite sounding albums and they use EMGs. And then like throughout the whole journey, I have Seymour Duncan pickups. I have a really passive feel in them. Black Winter pickups from Seymour Duncan is really cool. Black Hours were really cool. We're a bit more dynamic. But then for me... Very hot output. Yeah, they're like, yeah very, they're, they're very like, like A lot of the interfaces, you can't even record the eyes. True, because, because they're, they're, they're clipped. Speaking. Yep. Right. Even yep. RME and stuff like that has been clipped by the Black Hours. Really? So, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But then for me, like when I just hit like the the Seymour Duncan, of the, the Fishman Flumes pickups, that is like... So with those uh, pickups, I can change voicings and that kind of stuff. And it sounds like a completely different guitar instead of changing pickups. So that for me, it works, works really well. Yeah. But like for you in the studio, like what do you prefer? Is it just EMG? Yeah. So if a Mostly band comes... When, when I, I mean, when a band comes, it depends on the guitar. But if you ask me as a guitar player, I've just, I, mean, I don't know. I had the same experience like you. I was coming from, from Gibson guitars. I was also playing like few B3 Rich guitars with DiMarcio, I think Super Distortion or something in the right, beginning, right. Mm -hmm. then switched to EMGs, early 2000s, that was like, ah, and there it is, okay. ching, 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 to the precision, like that mid-tunnel kind of sound, which right. is just perfect uh, for, yeah, tight rhythm metal guitar, uh, guitars, and um, I have played them for such a long time that it just feels right to me, you know? Okay. Just, it just feels great. But I also like the the, the, the Fishmans. I haven't tried the Devin Townsend. You are actually the second guy telling me I should check them out. Yep. And But I also like both the modern and the classic, or what is yeah, it called? Yeah, classic, classic is called, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, so, yeah, could you please build a guitar like <laughs> this feature with active pickups? We'll get out to you, Devin, look at it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Here's the request, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, I'm sure it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Which EMGs do you like? Is it 81, 85, or 61? 81, and I'm just talking about the bridge. Okay, like, okay, I don't like, and I would never play clean tones with, some people do that, and I think, isn't it even uh, Dave Gilmore? Dave Gilmore, yeah, yeah. I think he's, he's using EMGs for his clean tones. I hate how they how they respond on clean tones. Because really? I don't like that at all. Dude, for me. So I, I'm only using passive pickups for that. <laughs> okay, okay. And like, like I, have, I have this, actually, the Gibson Nighthawk is my favorite guitar for, for clean tones. Okay, okay. That, that's the way they, they break up and the way that the, the dynamic re respond to your playing, I hate that with the MGs just clean to, oh. I have to say. And also the James Hetfield, like, I, I, bah. What? Okay, <laughs> so I have to say, so <laughs> for me, War. active pickups, we'll listen to the DI, when I compare a passive pickup to an active pickup, it sounds like the passive pickup has like all the highs filtered off. Mm -hmm. And then when you like switch to an active pickup, it's like the whole, it's like, it's like an EQ plugin. Spectrum opens up. Or, right, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And that I like, the thing I, like I don't like the dynamic behavior okay. of how the attack of the EMG sound on clean guitar. I don't know how the amp break. I, I just don't like that. And okay. it, it's it's just like, it sounds not artificial, but it just doesn't sound natural to me. I just, I, when I get like, like when I'm mixing records and I'm getting DIs and it's yeah. like clean guitars and it's like EMGs, I'm always like, oh. I love that sound. Oh, it's no. so bright. It's so, but okay. So that's when, okay, so then you definitely have to check out Fishman Pickers because they, they are not compressing. Yeah, they had, I, I, I have played them. Dynamics. I, I've played them. Okay, and okay. I've, I've, I've received a lot of. I mean, they are like the new hip shit, right? True, right true. Now. But but it's legit. Yeah, right. It's right, no right, bullshit. Right, right. And uh, so yeah, what what EMG used to be in the early two thousands is now Fishman. Yes. For a reason, and um, yeah, so I've mixed enough records to to confirm that they all sound great. Right. I just uh, need that guitar to be able to <laughs> switch this quickly. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks to you guys. Uh, I see you in the next video. We're filming countless videos here at 42 Gear Street and we're having a lot of fun. Right? Yes, we are. All right. See you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye -bye, thanks for cheers. watching. Bye bye. <laughs> what a nice conversation, right? So, if you guys want to see me checking out one of those Cream T guitars and if you want me to compare some pickups here in the studio, you better let me know. You leave a comment below. If you don't want that, you can also leave a comment. No problem. I'm going to read it or delete it. I'm not sure. No, I never delete comments. Um, leave a comment. That makes me happy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are into Chuga Chuga music and recording stuff at studios, right? Subscribe and ring the ding dong bell. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I see you in hell, my friends. I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye bye.